Hello, welcome to Take, Make, and Gift Decoupage Candle Holder. So you have your supplies in your bag. Maybe you've already made the craft and, and you're going to, you've come for the story I'm going to read today. But if you haven't made the craft yet, I want to give you a couple of pointers. <clears throat> First of all, you get your, your things ready. I gave you tissue paper in multiple colors. You do not have to use all of those colors. You can if you'd like, but there's something sometimes people don't think to do. When you cut out your shapes, now I've done this with squares, um, but I really liked the the leaf pattern that was on the sample in the picture of the craft. I'm going to try that today. You could make any shapes you want. You could make a combination of different shapes, but it's a lot easier if you take a piece of tissue paper and fold it into many layers so that when you cut one piece, one shape, when you cut one shape, you will end up with many, right? That's the best way to make confetti, to make anything that you need many pieces of. <clears throat> so remember to cut in layers, plan what you, your pattern. If you want to do a pattern, if you want to do design, you could do a picture. Um, you could cut things and, and actually turn it into a creation. But I'm just going to use shapes similar to the shape that was in the sample. Everybody got in their bag, you got a beautiful piece of glass. Some of them are different shapes and sizes. Today I'm going to use just a plain jar because I want you to know that you can also just use jars that you have in the kitchen and you can make your own candle holders later. There is special decoupage that they sell at the store, but this decoupage we're using is just plain white glue and a teensy bit of water so it, it's a little bit drippy. You don't want it too thick because it'll be hard to work with and hard to place um, the, pe the pieces and hard for them to dry. <clears throat> so you add from the decoupage that I gave you. Now decoupage is actually the craft of making things covered with an object covered with glue, layers of glue and paper. That's called decoupage. Calling this decoupage, this is the substance we need to do the craft decoupage. But the decoupage, the, the glue I gave you, it's actually glue, it's not special decoupage. The glue I gave you has a little bit of glitter in it. So your um, candle holder should have a shimmery look to it. So after you've added a touch of water, so it looks a little bit drippy like this, use your brush. And I said just cover one side at a time so you didn't have too much to work with and it won't dry too quickly. So you cover one side of your glass container with glue. Now mine's drying a little bit because I started this before I turned on my, my tape here. But I'm going to cover, you could do a third or a half because if you need to work quickly, it will start to dry, okay? So here, I put the decoupage or the glue on one side. The other side, I'm going to do in a little while. Now, I find it easy to pick up tissue paper if I wet my finger first. And another trick I have, not a trick, but um, you're going to get glue on your fingers. So please keep a wet wipe near you. This is just a, a paper towel with water on it to clean your fingers as you go, or you're going to have tissue paper stuck all over your hands. So I'm going to use my, use my finger. I can pick up a piece like that if I lick my finger first and put it just where I want it to be and tap it down. Make sure most of the edges are stuck well. And what's fun when you're using tissue paper, because you can do decoupage with with magazine photos and all, but they're not translucent. That means the light doesn't go through them, but tissue paper, the light goes through it. It's not transparent, but it's translucent. So what's really nice to do, you overlap your shapes. You make one shape on top of the other, okay? Like that. And you can see here, you can see the pink right through the green because the green is translucent, right? So as you're putting your pieces, Layer them and make sure they're stuck down really well. Now pick them up and put them wherever you'd like them, random or in a special place, whatever you'd like. And you cover 
the entire half of the jar. Now, if you're using a jar like this that has a ridge on it, I wouldn't go up here, but just do the bottom. But the pieces I gave you are clear, beautiful, aren't they great? You know where I got these? These are from the dollar store. And these shapes I gave you only cost one dollar. So if you ever go shopping there, you can pick up some more and make more of these because all you need is glue and tissue paper, right? And a paintbrush. So have fun covering your shape, planning your design, overlapping your pieces so you can see through. And I love, I love that leaf design because it's it's not just holiday, it's kind of like you can use it year round, but you could do. Sometimes I, I get napkins uh, from the holidays and I do the same thing. Now I've, I've kind of covered up one side already. Do leave some places bare because when the glue dries, it will be clear and the, the light will come shining through. So after you've finished one side of your glass container, do the same on the other side. And I'm rushing it. You will please take your time and make yours gorgeous. I'm rushing mine a little bit. But I covered it and I'm going to place my pieces. Now, a really important thing if you read the directions, is you're going to need this to let it dry. And you'll know when it's dry because all of the glue will be clear. You won't see the white glue any longer. So when it's dry, it will be time to put on another coat of the glue or the decoupage. You don't add any more pieces, but it will be time for the... Isn't that fun to, to lick your finger and lick and... We'll call it lick and stick. So, so lick and stick. Otherwise, they're hard to pick up, especially if your finger's a little bit wet. So that's what's fun about making crafts. When you make crafts, you kind of learn something for the next time you do it. And that's how I learned how to pick things up with my finger because I've, I've done it before. So today I won't be able to share with you how mine looks when it's all finished because it has to dry. So when you have all your pieces on, do not put a second coat now. Wait until it's all dry. Touch it, make sure it's dry. Later today in the afternoon, it'll be dry. If you have to, if you do this in the evening, you have to wait overnight till it's dry. And then you will take your decoupage, cover this up overnight. You don't want it to dry. Cover it with the top I gave you. Cover it up and then the next day or hours later when it's dry, you will go over the whole holder, the whole candle holder with a coat of glue and that will seal it. It'll look really cool and you'll get to see the sparkles because I put some glitter inside. So mine isn't really ready to glow because I have to dry it, right? But when yours is all dry, you can take your candle and put inside and do it in the nighttime so, you, so it will sparkle and shine the best. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you think of somebody to give it to as a present. Or if you keep it yourself, that's okay too. It could be a present to yourself. But in this season, um, some of us celebrate holidays at this time. Some of them um, involve giving gifts. And I thought this would be fun because this is a gift you could give somebody if you, you were looking for a gift. But I'm going to share a book with you. And it's not really a story because I looked for stories to share with you about candles and I couldn't really find a good story about candles and then I looked about for stories and this is a book about light because light is so important in our lives isn't it when you wake up before it's daylight you can't do very much but you can turn on the light and get busy but light lightens our world it enables us to do so many things and back before there was electricity or back way back when the cave people didn't even um, they only had a campfire they couldn't do so many things in the dark but light has become a very 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 important part of our world and our life this is called flash and glow light in our world by sue fleece so this book is about light and you're making the candle holder which is all about light. Please look at every page because there's some things in here that will be meaningful to you, I'm sure. Lights rise, open eyes. 
when we wake the light the light comes in your window you may turn on your light time to wake in the morning reach low nurture grow now the light doesn't just come in your window the light is reaching down to the earth and the light is making plants grow some plants are our food so the light is so important to the us and the world bolt flash thunder crash so there's a bolt of lightning lightning is a spark in the sky it's a spark of energy and there's a rainbow color bend find the end now rainbows are made from light and water that's in the air We won't have rainbows without light. Glimmer, glow, wish and blow. Don't we have fun with the candle when we celebrate our very, very special birthday? And what gives our earth the light is the sun. Blast, beam, let us dream. So the sun gives us the light. The sun gives us energy. Um, and it gives us day and night. And here's the moon, by the way. And the moon does not give us light, but it reflects the sun's light. Fade away, cannot stay. At the end of the day when the sun sets and we all begin to take a rest. Swirl, flow, come and go. Well, in the most, most northern parts of the earth and the most southern parts of the earth, there's something called the northern lights. And you might have been lucky enough to see them, or you will someday, I hope. But another name, they're called auroras. And auroras are, they're caused by electric charged particles between the sun's energy and the earth, the earth's air. And they dance and they look different. So whenever you see them, the next time you see them, they may look differently, but they're really amazing to see all these colors in the sky. Blink. Play, show the way. At nighttime, there are some little insects that have light. And we call them lightning bugs. We call them fireflies. And they have a light. And they, they can't guide us. We can't see where we're going with the fireflies, but we can see them. They have a special chemical in their body that mixes with oxygen and makes it light. Here's a campfire. They've been fun, haven't they? Maybe you've gone to a campfire lately. People have been spending lots of time outside. Shimmer, glance, blaze, and dance. People love campfires. Even if you're not camping, you can have one at your house. Spark, fly, fill the sky. In Thailand, there's a special holiday called Yi Peng, and they make fire-powered rice paper lanterns. The paper is made from rice, they're very, very light, and there's a candle inside. And they, they release them up into the air. They're, this whole sky full of them. Beautiful, beautiful. Burst, create, illuminate. Now, in India, there's a, a holiday called Diwali, and it's called the Festival of Lights. And Hanukkah is celebrated by Jewish people, and they light a beautiful menorah. Each night they light a new candle. And they also call that the Festival of Lights. And here's a holiday you may know, Christmas. Dazzle, thrill, spread goodwill. In celebrating Christmas, people who, who are Christians at church, they have a, a Four weeks of lighting candles in church. They light candles in their homes. They decorate their tree with lights. They decorate their house with lights. And this is the time we can see lots of those lights. Gleam bright. Say good night. Now, even when we're sleeping, there are lights, aren't there? There are lights in the sky called stars. And stars do create their own light. Every star is a sun, like our sun, but it's so far away that they look so tiny in the sky. Don't forget to look at the stars and the moon. And the moon, is, as we, we remember, we already said, it doesn't make its own light. It's reflecting from our sun. 
And that's a book about light and how special light is. So light is so special that when people celebrate holidays, they use light as a part of their celebration. So I hope you had fun. I'm going to show you that my, just in the time that I was reading that book, mine is starting to dry and looking clear. You will know that your piece is totally dry when it looks clear like this. And I'm touching it and it's not sticky there anymore. It's dry there, it's dry here. But most of it is still wet. Oh, it's starting to dry on this side. See how it's getting clear? So when it's all clear, it's time for the second coat. And I think you could be able to make this in one day. Now, when you're putting on a second coat, you might have some pieces that stick up a little bit because they didn't have glue under them. But that's okay. When you're putting the second coat on, you tap them down, okay? So you have fun. And it's really best to turn off all the lights in the room when you light your candle because then you can really watch it glow. Thank you, friends. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for making your craft. And I hope you make somebody happy with it. Farewell.